Imagine a city gripped by fear, a young girl's life brutally taken, a man condemned in a trial that rocked the nation. What if I told you that this dark tale reveals the deepest prejudices of a bygone era and sparked a fight for justice that echoes to this day? This is the true story of Mary Fagan, a 13-year-old girl whose murder in 1913 Atlanta triggered one of the most controversial trials in American history. It's a story of innocence lost, of a man who became the victim of a biased justice system, and of a nation forced to confront its own darkest demons. From the gruesome discovery of her body to the lynching of an innocent man, this tale will take you through the twists and turns of a case that exposed the ugly truths of anti-Semitism and ignited a movement for civil rights. Buckle up, because what you're about to hear is not just a story. It's a lesson in history, justice, and the enduring fight against prejudice. Stay with us, because the truth is more shocking than fiction. In 1913, Atlanta was a city of opportunity and progress. But beneath the surface, a dark and tragic story was unfolding. A story that would forever change America. This is the tale of Mary Fagan, a young factory worker whose brutal murder led to one of the most controversial trials in American history. Mary Fagan was just 13 years old when her life was tragically cut short. She worked at the National Pencil Company, a bustling factory in the heart of Atlanta. On April 26, 1913, Mary went to the factory to collect her pay, and that was the last time she was seen alive. The next morning, a horrifying discovery was made. Mary Fagan's lifeless body was found in the basement of the factory. She had been brutally beaten and strangled. The city was in shock, and the hunt for her killer began. Enter Leo Frank, the factory's superintendent. A well-educated Jewish man from the north, Frank quickly became the prime suspect. But why? Was it because he was truly guilty, or was there something more sinister at play? Leo Frank was arrested and charged with the murder of Mary Fagan. The trial that followed was a media circus, filled with sensational headlines, dramatic testimonies, and a public hungry for justice. But as the trial unfolded, it became clear that this case was about more than just a murder. It was about prejudice, fear, and the deep-seated divisions in American society. The prosecution's star witness was Jim Conley, a factory janitor who claimed to have helped Frank dispose of Mary's body. Conley's testimony was damning, but it was also riddled with inconsistencies. Despite this, the jury was swayed by his account and by the pervasive anti-Semitic sentiment of the time. After a month-long trial, Leo Frank was found guilty and sentenced to death. The verdict was met with cheers from the public, but many, including prominent figures like New York Times publisher Adolf Ox, believed Frank was innocent. Frank's legal team fought tirelessly for an appeal, and in 1915, Georgia's governor, John Slayton, commuted his sentence to life in prison. This decision sparked outrage and violence and set the stage for the next shocking chapter in this story. On the night of August 16, 1915, a mob of men broke into the prison where Leo Frank was held. They kidnapped him and took him to Marietta, Mary Fagan's hometown. There, in the early hours of the morning, they lynched him. The lynching of Leo Frank sent shockwaves across the nation. It exposed the deep-rooted anti-Semitism and injustice that plagued the legal system. Frank's death wasn't just a tragic end to his story. It was a catalyst for change. The murder of Mary Fagan and the lynching of Leo Frank had a profound impact on America. It galvanized the Jewish community, leading to the formation of the Anti-Defamation League, an organization dedicated to fighting anti-Semitism and protecting civil rights. The case also highlighted the need for reform in the justice system. It was a stark reminder that prejudice and hatred could warp the course of justice, and it spurred efforts to ensure such injustices would never happen again. Over a century later, the story of Mary Fagan and Leo Frank continues to resonate. It's a reminder of the dangers of prejudice and the importance of vigilance in the pursuit of justice. And as we reflect on this dark chapter of our history, we must also remember the progress we've made and the work that still lies ahead. Mary Fagan and Leo Frank's legacy lives on, a testament to the enduring fight for justice and the hope for a more just and equitable world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you found this story as compelling and important as we did, don't forget to like, 
subscribe and hit that notification bell. Share this video with your friends and family to keep the conversation going. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and remember, justice is a right for all.